Welcome to New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. This is the final match of the Pro Series Ultimate Ladder Tournament. You're going to see in this match Scott LaPierre versus Sean McKinley. Scott and Sean have arrived at the finals by going through a series of match play ladders to uh, after after qualifying in a three game qualifying round and the winner of this match will take home the pro series ultimate ladder title scott lapierre starts off on lane six and he leaves the one three and ten drop seven i might add that uh, a nice paycheck will go along with both the uh, winning and the runner-up positions in this tournament. And Scott starts off with a spare. <laughs> Converts that one 3 10 nicely. Scott, as you probably know, is one of the top bowlers in the state of Maine. And he's a regular member of the uh, Pro Series. He and Jeff LaPierre won one of the doubles tournaments on the Pro Series a while back. He and Jeff are a couple of the top competitors from the state of Maine. Scott drops five on the spare, leaving a big five. And is it going to go? Yes, it does. Great shot by Scott LaPierre. He's got that. Converts to two, three, four, six, ten. And look how cleanly he does this. He just cuts that two over into the six, ten, and then it rolls back and takes out the three. Really a nice shot. So Scott LaPierre is off to a flying start with two spares. And that brings up Sean McKinley. Sean is a member of the Lucky Strike team in the Friday Night Pro League and also uh, at the recent Worlds team tournament. Lucky Strike went to the final match before losing to USA East couple of outstanding teams there. Sean with a, uh, a diamond and then he cut it a little bit too thin so he didn't make the spare but he does convert the 5-9 for a 10 box. Sean moves over to lane 5 and he wants to See if he can put a mark on the board here and not let Scott LaPierre get too far ahead out of the box. And he... Sean misses the head pin, but it comes back, and he gets a backdoor strike. And let's take a look at that on replay. You will see that he goes to the left of the head pin, hits the two... No, the right side of the two pin. But the uh, ten pin is taken out, and then the, the wood goes right up the line taking the uh, six three and one so that's a strike hey, yeah. <laughs> and as you can hear their uh, cookies have been recently served here always a nice feature and Scott Lapierre works on this spare in the second frame and he throws a strike he fills it with ten <clears throat> a little bit light in the 1-3 pocket, as you'll see on the replay. But the head pin goes to the sidewall and pretty much wipes out the entire left side. So that gives Scott 35 after 2. As he works on the... Uh, filling this strike in the third frame. And it's another strike. Scott LaPierre with a double. That's really going to put the screws to Sean McKinley as he has got four marks in a row out of the box. And look at that. Really, really solid one three pocket hit. Great shot right there. And now uh, Sean McKinley comes up filling that strike that he threw in the second box.
And kind of a light hit in the one-two pocket. He drops eight. And he's got the five-ten with a piece of wood that's roughly where the nine pin was. It's sort of at an angle behind the five. Let's see what he can do with it. And he's got a really nice shot there by Sean McKinley. Let's take a look at how this happened. He uh, really hits pretty solid on the five and, and uses that wood perfectly to take out the ten. So that's, that's a pretty important spare right there. That gives Sean McKinley 30 after two. Cuts the lead to five, although of course Scott LaPierre has a double working in the third and fourth. And just three on the spare for Sean McKinley, so he has 43 after three. Doesn't want to... And he goes right through in this, uh, just the same spot that the, uh, that the first ball went, so now he needs an out. And same thing. So it's going to be a three box, which gives Sean McKinley 46 after four. And that gives Scott LaPierre a chance to open up an even bigger lead as he's working on that double strike that he had in the third and fourth. See what he can do back on lane six. Wow. It's a third strike in a row. Another really solid 1-3 pocket hit. Let's take a, a peek at the replay. And he just stuffs this one high flush in that 1-3 pocket. It look, almost looks like the 5-pin is going to stand up, but it, it goes. And that's a triple strike. Wow, that gives him 65 after 3. And see if he can get 4 in a row. Yes, great shot there. Just another fantastic 1-3 pocket hit by Scott LaPierre, and that is four strikes in a row. Take a look at the replay. No doubt about this one. This is probably the best shot of the four. Just very, very quick. That gives him 95 through four. And then, uh, well, let's see, 95 through four, and then, then the... Uh, Two strikes in the fifth and one in the sixth. And then Sean McKinley with a strike. This is how that went down. Kind of high hit in the one-two pocket. Looks like the six pin might stay up, but uh, it goes over. And that's very important if Sean wants to uh, have any chance to come back against Scott LaPierre. He's got to really put, put something together in a hurry. So he's got 56 with the strike fill still to add in the uh, fifth frame. Nice ball. He's got an eight drop. Leaves the five eight with a couple of pieces of wood. Not sure what he can do with this. Probably he's got that one out front doesn't look very good, but he might use the other one. And he does. That's a spare in the six for Sean McKinley. That gives him 66 through five and then the spare in the six. So he's got 76 with the ball. But uh, four strikes in a row by Scott LaPierre. He's got a big lead. And let's see if he can keep it going. As he fires in the seventh box. Great ball in the one three pocket, but what do you know, it's not a strike. He leaves the 4-8, couple pieces of wood there. So that's going to give him 123 through 5. Can you imagine? 123, and then and he's got the spare in the 7th. So he's got 143 through 6. And in the 7th, 153 plus whatever he can add here on the fill. And a little bit high on the head pin. He has got eight. Is it gonna be nine? No, it's just gonna be eight. That gives him 161 through seven. And he's got the 410 with a piece of wood that looks like it's frozen behind the four pin. So he could 
If he hits the left side of the four pin, he might be able to kick that over into the 10. And he doesn't quite do it. He gives it a good try, but he uh, got over to the to the uh, to the right of the four, so he wasn't able to knock it into the 10 pin. So he's just got the 10 pin, and he converts it for a 10 box, giving him 171 through eight. Sean McKinley comes back up in the seventh. And is it going to be a strike? Yes. Nice ball there. 86 through 6. And then in the seventh, 96 with the strike fill. So he's uh, having a pretty good string here, but it, it's uh, when you're up against the kind of bowling that Scott LaPierre has put together in this string, there's not much you can do. And... John McKinley with a six drop, leaving the four horsemen on the right side. And it's going to be a seven fill on the strike. So he's got 103 through seven. And he will take a nine box, 112 through the eighth. Scott LaPierre with 171 through eight. Obviously, you have to be thinking about a 200 game at this point. He would need 29 in the last two to do that. But you got to throw one ball at a time. And he's got an 8 drop. Nice 1 2 pocket hit. Good leave to 6 10. He's just got to go get it. And he's got it. Spare in the ninth frame for Scott LaPierre. So he comes over to lane five, needing a, a good fill. And he's got nine. That gives him 190. So that means that with that five pin, if he gets either a spare or a 10, he'll have the 200 game. He's got a piece of wood in front of the five. Should be able to make it without too much trouble. And he's got it. So that gives Scott LaPierre 200 with one ball remaining. Wow. And what will he do on the fill? He adds seven, so that is a 2.07 game by Scott LaPierre. Phenomenal bowling here at New Palace Lanes to win this Pro Series Ultimate Ladder Tournament. So Sean McKinley will finish up the last two boxes. And he, he'll pick up a nice check for, uh, for finishing second in this event. Hey, if you had McKinley plus 78, cash your tickets in. <laughs> 